Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Advanced Booking and Reservation Plugin. Now this particular extension will allow you to create dynamic booking and reservations like appointments, event, rental, hotel and restaurant bookings. Thus it will convert your Magento 2 platform based web store into a dynamic event driven site. Kindly note that this plugin introduces a new product type that is booking product that will allow a store owner to sell booking services as a product. This product type lets the admin manage all the necessary details of the booking product like date of availability, slot period, stock value, price settings and much more. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out the default booking that allows the store admin to create two types of bookings that are one booking for many days and many bookings in one day. So what I'll be doing is I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular default booking at the storefront and then I'll be showing you how to create the default booking products uh, there from the admin backend panel as well. So in the default booking we'll be checking the one booking for many days like uh, for example we are doing a, a, a event for example or uh, we are uh, book, uh, creating a booking product like an, a resort booking that goes uh, for one booking for many days and then we have the many bookings in one day like a physiotherapy consultation, uh, movie tickets or a doctor appointment where we require many bookings in one day or many slots in one day there. All right. So I'll just take you through the workflow of this uh, default booking in today's video tutorial. But before that, uh, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I've already created uh, two different uh, products here or the booking products under the default booking uh, category. One is the physiotherapy consultation. Uh, that's a one uh, that's the many bookings in one day booking product type and the Taj Palace luxury resort that's uh, the default booking type of one booking for many days so first we'll be checking up the physiotherapy consultation that's the many bookings in one day that allows you to uh, book multiple slots in a particular day itself so here uh, we can see that we have the name of the uh, booking product the price of the booking product, the location, as you can see, Nevada, 375, Hiko, USA. Uh, you can view the particular location on the map as well by tapping here on the view on map link. And this will open the Google Maps. And on the Google Maps, you will be able to see the particular location of the booking uh, uh, there. So if I open this up, you can see that uh, the particular one is being uh, shown here on the Google Maps itself. And if the customer wants, he can also tap here on the directions uh, button to uh, face the directions towards the particular location there to reach the uh, booking product location itself. That's the physiotherapy consultation. Apart from that, we can see that we have the contact as option and here the customer, if he's logged in, he'll be able to uh, enter the subject and the query, the name and the email would be autofilled. Right now, I'm not logged in to my customer account. So that's why my name and the email are not entered here. So if you have any question or query regarding the uh, booking product, then you can ask uh, by entering the subject and the query and tapping on the submit button thereafter to the respective owner of the booking product there. Then you can see that we have the booking cancellation available for this particular uh, booking product. Now after the invoice has been generated, uh, the customers will find one booking cancellation button on the order details page from where they'll be able to cancel the booking as well. Now the booking cancellation availability can be enabled or disabled uh, while you're creating a booking product uh, and when you're on the uh, edit uh, product uh, page of the booking product itself. Apart from that, you can see that we have a book now button as well. And then if I scroll down, we have the more information that shows the location of the booking product there. And then in, as per the default, we have the section wherein you can give the ratings and uh, the review uh, for the same. Now to book a uh, physiotherapy consultation that has many bookings in one day, you can tap here on the book now button. And this would bring up this pop-up wherein you will be able to see the available uh, slots, unavailable slots and the booked slots as well. So the available slots are in the green color, the unavailable slots or the ones uh, that are being slots that are being set as closed are shown in the yellow color. 
and if any of these slots are completely booked then those slots will be uh, displayed in the red color so right now you can see that it's uh, thursday today and it's 24th it's available on 27th we are having the availability of the slots on 28th 29th 30 31st of the month itself now for the particular day or for example if i tap on the 27th i'll be able to see the different uh, slots uh, that are available for the day there so here you can see that here we have 9 a.m to 9 25 a.m the available slots of uh, between 9 a.m to 9 25 a.m are 324 between 9 30 to 9 55 a.m we are having 324 slots so on and so forth so if the customer wants to book a particular slot what he needs to do is he just needs to enter the need of the slots that he wants to purchase for example two and here you can see uh if I scroll down here, here you can see that under the summary, it shows that two slot is selected for the booking between 27th of the month, 9 a.m. to 27th of the month till 9.25 a.m. Thereafter, you can tap here on the book now button and the particular uh, slots uh, would be added into the cart. So if I tap here on the book now button, you can see that you have added the physiotherapy consultation to your shopping cart. So we have added two slots and the booking is from 27th there between 9 a.m. to 9.25 uh, a.m. and uh, we are uh, booking two slots there thereafter uh, we can tap here on the proceed to checkout button to make a checkout now here you can see that per slot we are having the price as 100 but we are we have added two slots there so that's why this card subtotal is showing 200 there now thereafter you can tap here on the proceed to checkout button to proceed to the checkout and uh, use the payment method there to make a payment for the uh, booking product there so that's the workflow of the many bookings in one day at the customer's end now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you how you can create this particular uh, booking product that's the default booking uh, having the booking uh, type as many bookings in one day so for that what you need to do is you need to go to the admin backend panel and after the successful installation of this particular plugin you'll be able to create the default booking product as well so you have to navigate through catalog and products as i've already told you that we are having a, or we have introduced a new product type that is the booking product so if i go here and i tap here you can see that we have the booking product uh, type here that's the booking product so if i tap here on the booking product I'll be able to go to the new product uh, creation page as you can see and here we'll be able to select the booking type so today we are checking out the default one having the one booking for many days and many bookings in one day booking uh, type there uh, apart from that you can also create the appointment booking event booking rental booking hotel booking and table booking by choosing the respective booking type as per your own requirement there so after choosing the default one then you have to fill in the details there like the contact information the booking information under the booking information you have to choose many bookings in one day uh, because we are uh, checking the physiotherapy uh, booking product right now that is having many booking slots in one day uh, and uh, one booking for many days i'll be showing you that in a while from now so i have already created this uh, physiotherapy consultation product let me edit it up and let me show you the details there itself so for that uh, what we can do is we can go to the advanced booking system and view booking products and here i'll be able to see the complete listing of all of the booking product types that we have created so here i'll go to the physiotherapy consultation and i'll edit this particular product after editing it up uh, i'll be able to see the details uh, on the edit product uh, page so this would bring up the edit product page uh, for the booking product there so here you can see that we have chosen the booking type as the default booking type and here we have set the product name as physiotherapy consultation the price has been set to 100 uh, us dollars the quantity has been set to 432 uh, the stock status has been set as in stock the category has been assigned then we have set the cancellation availability as yes then we have set up the contact information so under the contact information you can basically enter the any uh, any uh, location there and the google maps would uh, basically bring up that particular location for example if i enter california you can see that uh, it brings up the particular location then you can select that particular location uh, for your contact information uh, it was nevada for example 
and uh, then we have show map with location so if you remember here we have the view on map option uh, there uh, nevada uh, let me set it as nevada 375 Heiko NV USA then we have the show contact button to here we have the contact button contact us button that we saw so we can set it to show to everyone or to only the logged in customer here we were as a guest customer and we were able to see the contact us information still uh, so here you can uh, see that we had set it to everyone so that's why the guest customer was also able to see the contact uh, us button there otherwise you can set it for the logged in customer only then under the booking information i have selected the booking type for the booking type was default right and under the default the booking information type was many bookings in one day then that brings up the start date of the booking the end date of the booking i had set it between 22 to 30th of the month there the time slot was 25 minutes so if you see here uh, we are having the slots of 25 minutes each 11 30 to 55 for example or if i go to 27th here you can see that 9 am to 9 25 on 24th is showing 11 30 uh, to 11 55 because uh, right now the time is 11 so that's why the slots are showing uh, after 11 there and not uh, from starting from 9 30 am there uh, now let's go back so here you can see that the break between the bookings is 5 minutes so here you can see that between 5.55, 11.55 then after 5 minutes break we have 12 pm to 12.25 pm then a 5 minutes break then 12.30 pm to 12.55 pm itself now let's come back so here you can see that uh, accordingly uh, after I have set up the start date of the booking the end date of the booking time slot in minutes break between the bookings then uh, for the days of the week i've set up the start time and the end time of the bookings and i've set up the status for each day of the week as open and closed so here you can see that on fridays and saturdays we have set the thing as closed so here you can see that on fridays and saturdays unavailable slots become because we have set uh, these days as closed in the configuration here Apart from that, you can set up the content, if any, or the short description, the images uh, for the uh, particular booking product and the rest of the configurations can be set up and then you just need to tap here in the save button to save the particular uh, booking information that is the many bookings in one day that allows you to create multiple slots for a single day there as we have seen in the case of the uh, physiotherapy there itself. All right. So that was about the uh, many bookings in one day. Now let's check out the one booking for many days. So for uh, that, I'll again go to the default booking category there. And here I've created one Taj Palace luxury resort booking. Uh, if I open that up, you can see the same uh, details are here as well. The name of the booking product, the price, uh, the location on the map. If I want, I can open it up on the Google Maps itself. We have a contact us information uh, button there. So here, uh, if I open the Google Maps, I can see the location on the Google Maps itself. And from here, we can uh, navigate to the particular booking product location as per the requirement using the Google Maps itself. Now, let me cancel that out. Let me cancel that out. Then we have the more information section here showing the location. Then we have the review for the particular product there. And then we have this book now button apart from that you can see that we have the booking cancellation available for this type of booking uh, default booking product type that is one booking for many days so here if i tap on the book now button you can see that uh, actually i've created four slots uh, or, or a slot for uh, three days basically so for 24th we have three day slot there so that's why it's going from 24 25 26 and 27th so if i book the 24th uh, slot there day slot there it would be between 24th to 27th of the month between 7 pm to 9 am in the morning and the available slots right now are five for the date that's 24th so if i want to uh, book a slot there 
I can go ahead, I can select one. Then under this summary, you can see that one slot is selected for the booking between 24th to 27th, uh, between 7 p.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning. And from here, we can add this particular product into the cart thereafter to make a checkout as per the requirement there. So in the case of the default booking type, this is a default booking uh, product type that we are creating. In this case, one booking for many days can be set up. So a single booking that is valid for many days, according to that, you can create uh, the uh, particular booking as per your own requirement there. Thereafter, you just need to tap here on the book now button and the particular booking product would be added into the cart. So you can see that you have added the Taj Palace luxury resort to your shopping cart. Now, if I go to this uh, shopping cart, here you can see that the booking is valid between 24th to 27th of the month between 7 p.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning and this uh, quantity is one so that's why the amount is two thousand dollars if it was quantity was two slots then it would be four thousand dollars there itself all right so this is how the customers uh, can easily access uh, the book default booking uh, product types and this was uh, the one booking for many days now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you how we can set this up it is exactly the same what you need to do is you need to go to catalog products and on the products page from the add product section you have to select the booking product to create a booking product that would navigate you to the new booking product creation page uh, wherein you will be able to select the booking type as default so we'll be choosing the default one because we are checking the default booking for the one booking for many days and then uh, we have to scroll down to the booking information section and here we have to choose one booking for many days so i've already created one product there so uh, let me edit that up and let me show you the different uh, uh, sections uh, that need to be set up so here if i scroll down to the Taj palace luxury hotel or the resort there i edit it up and this would bring up the uh, edit product page there so here we have set up the uh, booking type as default as you can see and we have not chosen any other one the default has been selected we have set up the product name as per our requirement there uh, the price the quantity the stock status the category cancellation availability has been enabled we have uh, set up the contact information here so the location has been set as per the requirement there show map with location as i've already shown you show map so we have this view on map uh, link here on the front end show contact button to whether you want to show it to logged in customers or all customers and then you can uh, bring up the contact us uh, link here on the uh, booking product uh, page itself then we have the booking information here you have to choose uh, one booking for many days then you have to select the start date of the booking and the end date of the booking there so we have set it as from 24 till 30th of the month there and uh, here we have added two slots one is between monday to thursday and the other one is between thursday to sunday the monday to thursday is between 9 to 6 pm in the evening and the other one is between uh, 7 pm in the evening till 9 am in the morning there all right and rest what you need to do is you just need to enter the rest of the details like if you want to enter the content images of the uh, videos regarding your booking product your search engine optimization as we do in the default product types and then you have to tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings or for the particular booking product that you're going to create that's the default booking type with the booking information type as one booking for many days and then this particular product would be displayed like this at the front end and then the customers can book a particular slot there for many days for example on 24th if i make the booking uh, it's a three day slot between 24th to 27th uh, between 7 pm in the evening to 9 am in the morning and the available slots are five there for the same so yes, that was much about the uh, Magento 2 Advanced Booking and Reservation plugin and I showed you the default booking uh, uh, type there and I showed you how we can uh, create and how we can view the particular many bookings in one day booking information type 
and the one booking for many days information type as well and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow there if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead